Kerry Ponoff with the Camper Knight joining us. And uh, Kerry, you guys just finished up the sprint medley. You ran the opening leg here today and that. How did you feel like you ran? Talk about getting out of the blocks in your first 100. Um, well, I haven't practiced getting out of the blocks a whole lot yet this year. So I definitely need to work on it. Um, I ran an 800 or a 100 last night, and I felt that was I ran better last night than I did tonight. But overall, we kind of just thrown together, having practice handoffs, which we need to work on. We pr did pretty well for the amount of practice we've done because we haven't ran together yet this season. So overall, I think we did all right. How much did last night running last night affect you girls today? Um, well, a little bit. I try not to use that as, as, as an excuse, but our legs are kind of, my legs kind of hurt, so I bet a lot of the other girls too, and I only ran two events too, so. Let's talk about those other two events before we head over to talk to Jennifer. Uh, what else did you compete in today? How did you feel like you did? Uh, today I did long jump, and I scratched one out of my four jumps. I think my best was 13.7, which isn't very great for me, but I guess, I don't even know what I placed, but um, Ashley Siebenaller did it with me, and she did well too. Her th the highest might have been 13, 11, or something like that. So um, our steps weren't really there, but we're working on it. We need to get our run-throughs in at practice, which we haven't been lately. But once we get our run-throughs, we'll probably be jumping better. What's a goal for you this year in the long jump? Um, probably 16. That's kind of high, but yeah. What's the best jump you had coming into this year? 16. 16. Yeah. So you want to match it, or you want to break it? Uh, probably break it. <laughs> <laughs> well, Carrie, thank you very much for joining us here today. Thank you. Oh, God. Let's go away from them. So we're, we're, we're talking now with Jennifer Lux. And Jennifer, I want to thank you for joining us. Ran the second leg today at the Sprint Med. Uh, talk about getting the handoff from Carrie and just kind of talk about what was going through your mind and how you felt like you're in. Oh, I was nervous getting the handoff from Gary. We haven't had a lot of practice with it, so it was kind of nerve-wracking. Um, we just needed practice. I was nervous, but, you know, it tried to get us ahead to get to, to Kenzie. I heard you girls talking afterwards. This is this the first time that you four have run together in this event? Yeah, and we haven't really, we haven't run this a lot of track meets, so just getting started with everything. Is it something that you're now looking forward to, or are you hoping yeah, that you continue yeah, to do this? Yeah, get a little more practice on our handoffs, and I think we'll be good. Jennifer, what other events did you compete in today? Um, I ran in the distance medley, and I ran the 200 in that race. What leg did you run in the distance? I was third. And how did you feel like that went? Uh, how did the handoffs go, and how did the team the do overall? Were good, and we had a really good anchor. Carrie ran the 800 for the first time, so she did a really good job. And again, we haven't run this team, so it was a good start, good starting point. What was the group of girls that ran with you in the distance today? It was Carrie, me, Kenzie, and Cliff. What's the goal for you this year for track? Oh, just finish off better than last year, you know. Make it to the district meet. Thank you very much. <laughs> yep. Let's get Kenzie in here. We're talking now with uh, Kenzie Barrel and Kenzie, uh, let's start off talking about the, the sprint med today. Ran the third leg. Sounded like you guys had a little difficulty on the handoff. That was kind of a theme of this yeah. race. What happened with your handoff with Jennifer? Um, I didn't leave soon enough. I kind of just watched her. We haven't really, like, we haven't ran together. And I was supposed to do the 100, but Jennifer's back hurt, so I wasn't used to it. So when did you guys switch up? Was it right before the race? Yep, right before. What was the th what was kind of going through your mind? Uh, you sounded like you weren't comfortable yeah, having please. to run the 200. Is that because you don't run a lot of them? Yeah, I usually run 400, so not too used to it. What did you think of the 200 after you got it done? Uh, it's all right. I don't know. I'll just run whatever, I guess. Is that kind of what you're doing? Is just kind of going through the year and whatever the coach needs you to do, you kind of fill in? Yep. What other events did you compete in today? Uh, we did the distance medley, and I still have to do the 4 by one Talk about uh, the distance medley. How did you feel like you ran there today? Uh, well, we, once again, haven't ran together, and then Carrie's never in 800, but we did all right. We kept fourth. What are you looking forward to in the 4 by one uh, Well, we never ran together. I don't know. We'll see what happens. That's the theme of the day for you. <laughs> what happened that you guys haven't run together until today for all these different events? I think he's just trying to get times on all of us. What do you? What's your goal for this year for track? Um, well, I want to have a good 4x4 four four team. So I you might set that up. Who do you hope to run with in that 4x4? Four four? What do you think would be a good team for you? Um, I think Abby Mosier, Claire Ludwig, and maybe Carrie Potter. All right. Well, Kenzie, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. You get Claire Ludwig in with us uh, right now, and Claire uh, and ran the anchor leg today here in the sprint medley. Uh, you caught a couple of people in front of you. How did you feel like when you were running out on the track? Oh, well, we started off 
we were second to last, but then I got it. And I just had to get that person in front of us, and we were a little bit behind, and throughout like the 200 mark, I was caught up with her, but we were really tight, and then at the 100, I just had to push through, and I got her at the very end. When you caught her at the 200, what were you thinking at that point? Were you thinking, I still have more in the tank, and were you kind of figuring where you were going to try and, and catch her? Yeah, because I still had like <laughs> so much left, but then I pushed out at the end, at the end and they gave it my all. You've gotten off to a strong start uh, in track so far this year. Uh, do you feel like the 400 is your best yeah. event, or what is the best event you feel you're in right now? Yeah, my 400 is probably the best, but I'd rather be running the 200. <laughs> What is it with the 400 that's worked for you this year? Um, well, I've ran 400s like my whole life, and this year I just tried to work on it more in practice and get better at it because I knew that's what I needed to improve on. What do you like more about the 200? <laughs> that's not as long. <laughs> <laughs> what other events did you compete in today, Claire? The Open 2, and now I have to run a 4 by one after this. How did you feel in the Open 2? The Open 2, I, I was put in the slow heat because I was putting in for another runner and then they backed out. So I was in the slow heat. I got first in that, but I got third over. How do you feel mentally when all of a sudden you switch like that? Uh, did you have time to kind of get yourself focused and prepared to run? Yeah, I had to repair my legs a little bit sore, but yeah, I just had to recover from that. What's the goal for you for track this year? Um, to get to state and something. I don't know if it's going to be in relay or open, but I'd rather it be in relay. But it'll be fun. What's a goal time-wise for you in the two or the four hundred or both? Um, the two hundred is to get as close to a twenty-seven as possible. And the four hundred, my fastest ever is a six hundred two, so I just try and beat that. All right, Claire. Thank you very much. Thank you.